Hi you guys, this is section 8.3 which is multiplication properties of exponents. Um, I'll show you some simple ones and we'll get a little more um, in detail as we go down. So I'm going to show you the same problem, the long way and the short way. Uh, if you like the long way, you can keep doing the long way or you can show it the shortcut way, which is fine. Okay, so if I have x squared, that's like saying x times x. And if I have x cubed, that's like saying x times x times x. So you can see if I add them all up, I, I get x to the fifth power. Okay, so the long way is to list them all out and you can do it that way. Or the other way is if you have the same base, you can just x and you're multiplying, you can just add the exponents. So it becomes x to the fifth power. Okay, so that's the long way and the short way of doing it come out the same. So if, if the homework says rewrite using the base only once, when you write your problem like this, you can just add it up and you get x to the 13th power. If you have a number for a base, you don't multiply the base. Again, you leave the base the same. If this is x and this is x, you leave it x. So if this is 3 and this is 3, you just add the exponents and you get 3 to the 11th power. Okay, so it says use rewrite the, um, the expression using the base only once. My base is 3, and I have it written twice here, so I just rewrite the base once like that. Okay, if I have this here, put negative 2, and there's an invisible 1 there. So when I add this together, I should get the 6. It's just negative 2. And make sure you leave the parentheses if it gives parentheses. This one here, I would get 7 to the, and if I go 4 plus negative 2, that's like saying 4 minus 2, so to the second power. Okay, so if it says rewrite the, ba rewrite the expression using the base only once, leave it like this with the base. Okay, if it says simplify, then you have to actually multiply it out. This would be 49, and this would be whatever that comes out to, 3 to the 11th. Okay, so be, make sure you know the difference between, between those. Here's a few more other problems that I'll go through simplifying. If you have something like this where you have numbers in the front, and you have the um, same base to exponents, you can move them around, reorder, because they're all multiplying. So let's say 2 times x squared times 3 times x to the fifth. Because they're all multiplying by the commutative property of multiplication, I can actually move these around. So here's what I want your work to look like. I want you to move the 2 times the 3 next to each other, and then you put the x squared and then the x fifth. So you rewrite it that way. 2 times 3 becomes 6, and this becomes x to the seventh power because you add them together okay so same thing here they just wrote it instead with, with parentheses so over here is negative five times six and then i'll read it rewrite it x to the fourth times x to the ninth this becomes negative 30 and this becomes x to the 13th power um, here's another one if i have two different variables so instead of numbers i have variables i just put the x's together like this, and then I put the y's together like this, and I do the same thing. So x squared times x to the fifth is x to the seventh times y to the twelfth. So I use the same property with different variables. Uh, if you notice, I went alphabetical to the x goes first and then the y. Okay, so here's a few more examples. Again, I would rewrite it. So 6 times 8 here times x times x to the seventh, times y to the fifth. So you can see I'm grouping them together. I move them by the commutative property, then I'm going to group them by associative, so I'll be at 48, x to the eighth power. Again, don't forget this invisible one over here. I'll put it in a different color pen. So don't forget that invisible one there. And then y to the fifth power. So number goes first, and then alphabetical. The coefficient is the number. So here's another one, just 4 times 7, just move them around, a to the 3rd, b squared, b to the 5th. Okay, so I still leave the a in here, and I'll write it so you can see the 3 better. This becomes 28, a to the 3rd, and then this one becomes b to the 7th power. Um, I got another one here with the negative power, so I have a negative 3 there. So when I rewrite it, I go negative 3 times 8 
Then I go m squared, and I put a times m to the 6, and then n to the 4th, n to the negative 3. So again, I'm just combining like terms, or putting them next to each other, grouping like terms. This becomes negative 24. This becomes m to the 8th power. And this becomes n to the 1 power, or just m. Okay, drop off the 1. Um, here's a few more examples that are a little different. And I'll change the light. So I have the 4 by itself with the x cube. So when I rewrite it, I can actually just group these. So I can go 4 x to the 3 plus negative 7 is to the negative 4 power. And if you remember, when you have a negative 4, you cannot leave it there. You need to move it down. So it becomes 4 over x to the positive 4 power. Okay, so be careful. If you end up with a negative exponent, you got to move it down. When I combine these, I would go x squared times x to the ninth, y to the negative 5, y to the negative 3. When I combine this, I get x to the 11th, y to the negative 8th. From there, I need to move it down. So when I move this down, I get x to the 11th over y to the positive 8. Okay, here's another problem. If you notice, and I put the, x, the plus in red, if I have a plus sign, I can't move them around. It should look very familiar. You should be doing the distributive property. Okay, so when I do this, I get 2x times 6x squared. That would be 2 times 6 times x times x squared. And then I'm going to plus, and when I do 2x times 9x, I get 2 times 9 times x times x. Okay, so all I did was move it, so that's 2 9s and then the xx over here. When I do this, I get 12x squared, or there's a 1, I'm sorry, to the cubed, 12x cubed, plus 18x squared, because there's invisible ones there. And that's your answer. You cannot simplify anymore because they are not like terms, so you just leave it like that. Here's another example from the book. This It's not really examples from the book, it's from the homework. If I have x to the third and I want to know what goes here to 11, basically it's saying 3 plus what equals 11. And that's where you put the 8. You can see it would be 11 minus 3, is, which is 8. And Sorry, you cannot see that very good, so I'll make it big over there. Okay. Um, if I have this, it's like saying what plus 5 is equal to 14. So again, you can just see it would be a 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. So 9 would go into this box here. Here's a little different one. It would be negative 3 plus what is equal to 10. So if I plus 3 to the other side, I can see it's going to be a 13 here. So you put the 13 here. I know it's small, but I'll put the 9 there. Okay? And the last thing, this should be a really short lesson. The last thing is scientific notations. If you remember, the other one we had was something like this, where it was, um, you just had one number outside. So you just became 56 times 10 to the 9th. And then you have to move it over. Minus 1 plus 1, 5.6 times 10 to the 10th. In this case, I only had one number on the outside. Now I have 2. So because this is multiplying again, and remember, this is not an x, it's a times, I can actually move them together where I go 7 times 8, and then times 10 to the 4th, times 10 to the 9th. And this becomes 56 times 10 to the 13th. I'm going to go from here to here, so I'm minus 1 plus 1, and I get 5.6 times 10 to the 14th power. Okay, I will show you a shortcut here. If you want to use it, you can go like this. And you go 6 times 5, which is 30, times 10 to the, and when I do these two, I get the negative 14th power. And I know I just covered up the x. So let me make it nicer so you can see. So when I go this times this, I get 10 to the negative 14th power. I need to go minus 1 here, plus 1 here, because I'm going left, so it's minus 1, so I plus 1. And I get 3 times 10 to the negative 13 power.
symmetry. One more quick example. 9 times 8 is 72 times 10 to the, and when I add these to 4 plus negative 8 is negative 4 power. I got to go from here to here, so I'm going to go minus 1 this way, plus 1 here. So 7.2 times 10 to the negative 3 power. Okay, make sure you have this step of work in your answer. Don't just write answers. You need to multiply and have the 72 times 10 to the negative 4 and then show that you're moving a decimal. Okay, that's 8.3. I hope it helps.